Guys, the new Florence and the Machine song, Hunger, is really good, and they're coming out with a new album. It's probably going to be the deepest song you'll listen to all week, actually. Knowing you guys, that's probably not true. But basically, I put out a poll asking you guys which new song this weekend I should explain, and you guys actually voted for other songs. I was curious to see what you would say. We kind of disagreed this time. The Troy Sivan song was about anal sex, and the Shawn Mendes song was a little bit shallow, so my heart just wasn't in it, and I was like, going down the list and I found this one I was like, whoa, this is really deep. I was super excited to explain it and it's super amazing. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and to comment a song that I should explain next time. I'm curious to see what gets the most upvotes. Okay, so Florence Welch, the lead singer of Florence and the Machine, has said a lot about this song. Uh, interestingly, she said, this song is about the ways we look for love and things that are perhaps not love, and how attempts to feel less alone can sometimes isolate us more. Which, really, really deep when people try to go in one direction, but it's actually hurting them, and they don't really realize it until it's too late. That's kind of what the song is about, it's what we'll be looking at. Uh, but she also said on Instagram, this song was never meant to be a song, it was a poem written in an effort to understand the ways I looked for love and things that were not love. Songwriters notice what she did there. She wrote a poem and then turned it into lyrics. Sometimes that's how songs go. It, it pays to learn how to write poetry when it comes to writing good lyrics. But I highly recommend that you guys watch the music video. It's really interesting, really well done. Um, there seems to be two different ways that the storyline could go. Essentially there's like this kind of beat up statue that people are looking at in a museum, but it gets carted away to storage, and then we see individual, like, normal people um, enjoying it or decorating it or experience it in ways that people at the museum just didn't seem to care to. And this could speak to people being alone and trying to solve something with something that everybody else thought wasn't that great. Or it could be, you know, a slightly different storyline and talking about how individual people can find some sort of individual beauty or truth in art. You should watch it, let me know what you think. But most interestingly, at the end of it, we see this, uh, this like screen that says, how many have to die so that you can feel loved? Which definitely leans back into the meaning of the lyrics specifically. Also, shots fired, how many have to die so that you can feel loved, it speaks to how we sometimes hurt other people and our desire to look out for ourselves and to feel a certain way. That's going to trigger some people. That really is. But let's jump into some of these lyrics. Florence sings, at 17 I started to starve myself. I thought that love was a kind of emptiness. And at least I understood then the hunger I felt and didn't have to call it loneliness. So she's gotten more confused about this and has less of a, a firm concept of this as an adult, but essentially for her, this hunger she feels is this need to be loved. And now she calls it loneliness. Like, I wish I had some friends around me. When she thinks about it deeply and writes a poem about it, she knows that it's much deeper than that. There's actually that need for love. And she calls it in the chorus, she says, we all have a hunger and it's this hunger to be loved by other people. And like she said in some of those quotes, Sometimes we go about trying to solve it the wrong way. But then in the pre-chorus, she's singing to somebody, to like a friend, um, maybe who's maybe, it seems like is probably dancing at the moment. She says, tell me what you need. Oh, you look so free. The way you use your body, baby, come on and work it for me. Could be about sex too with a, you know, a boyfriend or something. Uh, Don't let it get you down. You're the best thing I've seen. We've never found the answer, but we knew one thing. And in this case, she's acknowledging the hunger and she's acknowledging that we all have this pain we try to feel, but she's saying, no, you're, you're great. You're beautiful. You can do cool things. You can rise above this. Uh, then we get into the post course, she says, and it's Friday night and it's kicking in, maybe that loneliness, and I can't dress, they're gonna crucify me. She's worried about what the, the world will say. Uh, oh, but you and all your vibrant youth, how could anything bad ever happen to you? And this person kind of stands as an example of how she wishes she could feel at the moment. You make a fool of death with your beauty, and for a moment, moving into verse two, I thought that love was in the drugs, but the more I took, the more it took away. That's kind of hers, the same with like the anorexia she mentions in the first verse, saying that like there were things that I thought could solve my problem, my need, my hunger for love, but they just made it worse. Uh, I thought that love was on the stage. You give yourself to strangers, and then it tries to find a home with people. Oh, and I'm alone. None of this is working. The 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 fame or being, you know, you know, singing with people in a concert. It just doesn't do it for her. And eventually we come back to the chorus, we all have a hunger. And that seems to be the main note of the song. And it's like, it's almost too late for there to be resolution. But then we get into the very last version of the post chorus and she adds onto the end, you make a fool of death with your beauty. And for a moment, I forget to worry. Healthy pleasures, beauty, art, 
a true friend, these are the kind of ways that she experiences love and solves what she, at, you know, sometimes calls loneliness, but she knows is this hunger for something better, something bigger. And I think the lesson that we can learn from hunger is that sometimes, yes, when we have a deep need, and all humans do, we all have a hunger, it's easy to try to solve it with things that will eventually hurt us. Sometimes it's more blatant, actually hurting ourselves. Sometimes it's more subtle, things that we think will enjoy joy in the moment, but that have long-term consequences that only serve to make us, you know, worse off in the end. The solution to that for Florence is to really truly appreciate somebody else, to look outside yourself. And I have to agree with that. I think that when we get so wrapped up in like, I'm lonely, I need love, I have this hunger, we have to stop focusing on fixing that for ourselves and we have to begin to think about fixing it for someone else or enjoying someone else or appreciating someone else or praising someone else. I think that it's so easy for us to get wrapped up in like, these are my problems, these are my problems. And if we can just point our own brains outside of ourselves for a second, it does wonders for our own happiness and our own sense of being loved. Me personally, the times that I'm the least happy are when I'm afraid for myself. I'm worried about things happening to myself. But the times that I'm the happiest are when I'm putting others first and caring about them and watching out for them and making their happiness my number one goal. But that is too much touchy-feely stuff for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment a song that I should explain next time. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.